Hey guys, what's up? This is Supermist here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at a new application for Mac called Keika. Now, this is a, a, an application that can be used against an application called Archive Manager, and uh, the Archive Manager isn't free. So, this is a free alternative to that. Now, what uh, is there in this application is that uh, this, you know, supports basically each and every kind of uh, format that is not supported in Bolt. So, we have the 7Z and the zip, tar, gzip and uh, bzip too that is a new format that I am not aware of right now and you can also select the method like you know you just want to store you have the fast option fast, normal, maximum, and ultra and uh, you know they work quite well you can also have uh, split into some kind of you know a format like you can have a 1.4 MB splitting of floppy drive 650 MB CD, the normal CD 700 MB and DVD4 that is available for 80 MB and uh, well this is uh, basically it on the program itself so if you wanna zip anything up you can just open the finder you can uh, just drag the uh, uh, the thing that you wanna split or you know uh, compress and it would create a file in just uh, a few seconds and this would create a file just uh, you know for that so it's creating a file right here and uh, I don't wanna create the file right now so I'm gonna just gonna be canceling that and okay so this is the application itself let's take a look at the preferences and what we have in the preferences pane is uh, four tabs this is general you can select the default format to you know kind of compress the thing and you can select the default method that is already selected you can also set cake as the default compressor and uncompressor you can also cake when no window is visible and well you have the compression uncompression options here you can perform the automatic action you can you know choose before uh, ex uh, extract or compressing and you can go to the savings uh, tab and you can select uh, where to save it and you can change each and every property that is here you can also move the uh, move to trash the original file that you have compressed so you know kind of you have the option of saving space and then you can remove from the trash you can exclude the mac os as resource folks so this is you know kind of for advanced users if you know about the dot ds underscore store options and all that good stuff and you can also show the file in finder after it is compressed you can also go to the extract one and you can change the location that would extract my set uh, default to next to the original file that is you know kind of cool that you don't have to find where it, it is extracted I, or you can set it to ask each time so you can set your own default location or something like that and you can also you know move the trash compressed file and all that good stuff so this is basically it this is a simple quick and uh, sleek looking application this is uh, not even costing a buck and this is available free. The link would be in the description below. And uh, well, this is it for Keka. Now be sure to follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash chippermist. Also visit my web uh, web page that is chippermist.com. You can also like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash chippermist. And well, it's been all. And you can also subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And for more videos, you can, uh, you know, kind of subscribe again. So guys, it's been all. It's been Chippermist here. I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace.